nice bike isn't it but what any gravel and adventure bike needs these days is of course a frame pack like this one here this is a brand new rafa frame pack just arrived for testing i'm running through the key features stick it on the bike and take it for a ride and see how it performs As you probably know, bike packing and the idea of going for a long ride with everything you need on the bike have become really popular in the last few years. People doing their own adventures, weekend adventures, and there's bigger events like the Transcontinental Race, which are just three week epic pan-European races where you have to be self-supported and reliant on your own skills to get you through um, whatever adventures you might come across. And frame packs are a key piece of equipment, along with seat packs, top tube packs, and handlebar bags as well for your sleeping bags and your roll mats and all your camping equipment as well. Frame packs are an interesting one and for many people they're an entry into the whole idea of bike packing and adventure riding and they have a lot more uses than just these epic distance three week long races. You can use these for everything from commuting to work every day, you can put all your clothing in there for the office, you can use it for weekend rides, you can use it for a shorter adventure, touring and all that as well are suitable uses for frame packs and we're seeing frame packs become a lot more popular with people who just want to be able to put all the stuff in their food money rather than stuffing the jersey pockets and using a small saddle pack underneath the saddle as well so there are plenty of choices on the market and Rafa is one of the latest brands to throw its hat into the ring so Rafa has just launched a whole new range of explore branded bike packing and adventure equipment including the frame pack available in three sizes there's also a seat pack, a top tube pack, and a handlebar bag as well, depending on what you need and how much equipment you want to carry on your rides, whether a short weekend adventure or a three week ride across Europe. As well as the packs, there's also clothing. You've got a down jacket with a sleeping bag, and you've got tights and shorts with banana pockets. More on that later. So let's take a closer look at this frame pack, and it costs £85, which is about the same as an Apidura pack. It's made from a ripstop polyester fabric, waterproofed, the whole pack waterproofed with welded seams to ensure it's waterproof. There aren't many seams to kept the number of panels to a minimum. Got a semi-rigid structure so it should hold its shape whether it's loaded or not. And the zips are waterproofed as well on either side. And on this side, you have, take some of the packaging out, you have access to the full compartment full four litres of cargo capacity in there and they've lined it with pink material which they say makes it easier to find uh, whatever you're looking for. On the left side is a smaller kind of sleeve pocket for say gels, you might want to put an energy bar in there and you can get to it really easily without having to uh, mix up the contents of the main compartment. You've also got two brevet stripes on the side which ties in with their whole brevet range, reflective material to ensure you're visible at night time. And to strap it to the frame, you've got five straps. So three soft lined Velcro straps on the top to go to the top tube, and two straps, one at the back and one at the front, and they're adjustable. It comes in three sizes. This is a medium, and it should fit this size medium 56 frame. But let's find out and see how well it fits. So let's do that.
there we go, it fits to the frame really easily. Just to remind you, this is a size medium pack and this Neek Proof Digger Pro, uh, link to this bike in the description below if you want to find out more about the bike. This is a size medium, so it fits in really well. It's almost like it's custom made for the frame, really nice fit at the front and the back, perfect length as well. And yeah, it only took me a couple of seconds really to get it fitted. And it's got this semi-rigid shape as well, so it holds its shape nicely. It's empty at the moment. So we can put a few items inside it. So the banana and a energy bar. And they all seem to be in there, nice. Another feature I didn't mention earlier, it says a, a layer of foam in the top to both protect the frame and the contents inside as well. And it looks to be really nicely made. They say it's waterproof, but is it really? Let me go get my hose pipe and find out. This should be interesting. Might you move the camera a bit further back for this? Right, I think that's enough. Let me see if my banana and cliff bar are still dry. Okay, it looks dry inside. Banana, still dry. Cliff bar, still dry. And inside, I can't see any ingress of water. So, the hose pipe test seems to have uh, been passed with flying colours. Now, that's just a quick first look at the brand new Rafa frame pack, available now for £85. It's definitely at the high end of the price range. This market has really exploded the last couple of years, so a lot more choice, especially at the lower price range. So you can get much more affordable entry price frame packs if you're not um, wanting to spend a load of money. But I'm gonna be testing it over the next couple of weeks and I'll put to its paces through some adventure rides and really see if it's as good as it looks. So stay tuned for that. And you can do that by hitting the subscribe button below this video. And that's all for now really. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you all again next time.